All right, hello. Take two. Take one didn't take. Um, we're in the enclosed trailer. I just thought I'd go through for my purposes and also just to kind of share what a, a medium level of, uh, of tools for the road uh, look like. Uh, in the trailer, we've got a, you know, big bins of supplies and stuff like that. I've got this cart to be able to wheel it around. Um, this is, a, I think, a 48-inch U.S. General box. Uh, it's been fantastic. Roller bearings. It's relatively inexpensive. I attached, uh, I think, blindly. Yeah, how did I do that? I think from the under, underneath, I just bought a uh, kind of a hardwood um, cutting surface that was custom cut to this. Um, this one's pretty cheap because they actually use a bunch of remnant pieces and finger joint them, but that's fine. Uh, a Yoast, um, what's that, a four inch vise just mounted solidly through here with a metal block underneath. So this is well supported. You can, you can wail on this. I mean, you'll move this whole thing, um, but uh, this is at least firmly affixed. Um, all right, we'll run through quickly. Um, sockets, ratchets. So quarter inch, three eighth, half inch drive, uh, mostly metric, although I've tucked the SAE stuff off on the side. I've got impacts. Uh, these are Sunex, I think. Um, yeah, for the most part, I've gone with brands that I've either had experience with or come fairly decently rated. Uh, my main kit is actually an icon kit that I got on uh, Craigslist for like 140 bucks. And it was, I don't know how many hundreds and hundreds of pieces, but you know, you can exchange those at, uh, at, um, at any lows, um, and they've held up uh, pretty well. Um, again, these have been kind of medium used. Um, I try to keep my tools really clean too. So if the thing comes out of the out of the box, it gets cleaned even if you didn't use it because there's always dirt and schmutz on this stuff. So, all right, extensions. Uh, there's a Craigslist Proto um, a torque wrench that I had calibrated. Um, and all your adapters, extensions, etc. cetera. Uh, wheel nuts that's a smaller metric kit i think um this is a a bearing um for installing wheel studs uh so this is handy on the fly you can kind of snake a wheel stud providing you have them on hand um socket for the trailer um nuts which are i don't know something 16th 94 170 seconds just kidding 13 16th um <clears throat> so you know handy to have that there i also make sure that uh in another um um, section I've got kind of, you know, I can always get to a jack and, uh, um, uh, the trailer aid, which helps lift the tire and the, um, the, uh, tire iron for the, uh, for the trailer as well. Um, so that you don't have to dig yourself out of stuff when, if, and when you get a flat. Uh, all right, that's that for this. Roar. Wrenches, uh, box wrenches, teeny tiny set, really cute, really big set. Make sure whatever size you need for some of these larger jobs or tie rods or, um, <clears throat> um, I don't know, fan, uh, like the bolt mains, um, uh, the crank bolts, just make sure you have those. Um, so I've got up to 32 just cause it came with the kit here. Um, these are the cobalt kind of gear wrenches, um, uh, given my druthers, I guess I'd prefer like a angled gear wrench reversible, uh, setup, but that's what I got. Flare nut wrenches for your, uh, your brake lines and unions. All right, screwdrivers is a, uh, what's this, a Mayhew set. A little rust on this guy or a little tarnishing. Uh, these come highly recommended. They're really well made. Uh, they've served decently. And then the rest is all about flexibility. So all these bits, I have bit drivers to go from a, um, uh, you know, small impact to uh, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, uh, Torx, security bolts, all that stuff. Uh, big old Craftsman pry bars. I think these are made in the U.S. by um, some other brand anyway. Uh, so these have been, these are fine, minus the rust. Who cares? A uh, little side screwdriver. Here's a captive. I don't use this too often, but I love it. Uh, if you have to put in a flathead, uh, like if you're working on a boat or an old car or something like that, this actually spring loads, if I can show it here. It spring loads to... Yeah. To, to twist against the inside of the screw and hold it so that you can actually just thread it in and then turn it from afar. Uh, pretty cool tool. Seal puller um, and then socket um, screwdriver bits. All right, pliers. This is a hodgepodge. I've got, well, in here, I don't know why this is back here, but got the old grabber. Uh, safety wire with a safety wire uh, spinner. One of my favorites, hemostats. These are fantastic. One hand locking of things. I use these all the time. Nut splitter, tie rod holder, um, and then again, various brands from your Vice Grip brand to uh, probably some eBay Weha finds, you know, that are 
so smooth. These are fantastic. If you can get anything, uh, was it Baco, B-A-H-C-O, or Weha, uh, they're just top-notch. Um, these are, yeah, some flush cuts. Get your vice grips, uh, forged uh, adjustable wrenches, channel locks, and one of the Nipex uh, Mini Cobras, or whatever they're called. Um, fuel line disconnects, snap ring, uh, internal and external, a whole bunch there. Those are old blue point, so probably added some to a tag sale. Uh, vice grip chain, a uh, little chain wrench here. Fantastic for just uh, grabbing anything and twisting. Um, all right. There's my uh, hex, Allen, Torx, etc. Um, there's really a big gap here, and it would be for the long set. I really should have like a four inch set of, uh, of metric uh, hex um, because sometimes you just need that extra. Um, that extra reach, uh, but fine. Uh, hammers, clamp, C-clamp, uh, Scotch-Brite, I love this stuff. Uh, hacksaw with the tungsten carbide, old school. Remington makes that. Um, mini hacksaw, hacksaw, it's fine. I mean, generally, I'll, I'll pull out the, the little whiz wheel or whatnot. Uh, speaking of power tools and whiz wheels, I've got an air-powered whiz wheel and a, a 110 uh, grinder. The workhorses really are the snap-on. Um, this is an old 18-volt uh, impact and the, uh, the the drill that matches it. Um, yeah, and what I generally do, you'll see the Milwaukee M12 system. For most of my lighter-duty stuff, drilling, cutting, whatnot, I've got the, the little whiz wheel. I will be getting the inflator, uh, and I have a small little uh, hand impact um, for like light drilling and screwing in. Uh, those are all fantastic. Uh, air tools, uh, air chuck, air, um, air wand, uh, heat gun as well. Uh, so decent there. Could probably use a few more. All right, here's the miscellaneous, uh, you know, clutch centering tool, magnets, uh, zip ties. That's a squeegee for uh, decals. Very important. Um, bottle opener, safety first or second. Uh, brake, uh, piston retracting tool, spare lug nuts. This stuff, man, any sort of torque seal or, uh, I forget also they call it, but, uh, I get this from McMaster. They make them, uh, they have some that are impervious to oils and stuff. So you can use them on brake fittings and whatnot. Uh, it makes nutting and bolting a car so easy. Anything that's critical, um, you just put a little dab on there. It hardens up. And if it loosens up, it cracks and you can see it. So, and they make them in different colors too. So you could have like, you know, when you do a major overhaul, you can switch colors and you know, okay, that was done in April before the season started or whatever. Um, so that's just fantastic. Markers, goop, gasket, thread lock, calculator, hubcap, centers, whatever. Uh, all right, paint markers, uh, Sharpies, magnet, uh, telescoping magnet, and a lighter, popsicle stick. I should have... Um, call it q-tips in here as well those are always handy for just spreading a little contact cleaner cleaning contacts or goop or whatnot all right cutting all the time use the box cutter uh scraper um old credit cards hotel cards etc got a little deburring tool for inside tubes i use these on edges too it's just a nice uh sharp edge you can take that those uh those burrs off the edge a bunch of blades uh, these are snips. I really should have, yeah, I guess he's all right. These are drop forged, uh, snips with hopefully a serrated edge. Yep. Serrated edge. So you could cut sheet metal, light sheet metal with this. Um, I do have a little drill adapter nibbler, uh, for cutting, um, for cutting sheet metal out of the way as, as the drill rotates, there's a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's, there's just a little, a little lip there that just takes a little bite each rotation. Um, all right. Scissors. Fine. These guys. Oh, Cutting hoses, flush cutting hoses, tape, uh, string, not copper wire, whoever did that. Um, this tool is uh, I un, unsung hero of the, uh, of the tool set. Electrical stuff. Uh, I do have an IR gun, although I think this is barred with the garage. Um, so again, you just point and get the little laser there. Um, and which just tells you where it's aiming. It uses an infrared sensor to detect the... Uh, the radiation back, I guess, and, uh, and gives you a, a temp. So perfect for finding dragging brakes, uh, bad wheel bearings, etc. 
Uh, and when your uh, coolant's up to temp and your thermostat should be kicking open, you can check your different hoses. So this is fantastic, worth its weight in gold. Uh, old Fluke multimeter, cheap Actron, batteries, headlight, 12 volts. I think it's a Weller uh, soldering iron. So check it out. You just clip that onto a battery and wait and solder. This tool is fantastic. Um, it could do a little better on super fine wires, but you should probably be using something else anyway. Uh, stripper here automatic and then it's got the cutting blade and the crimping the crimping's not the world's best right i'd prefer ratchet and crimper given my choice but um by golly if you're uh if you're just fixing something on the road that one tool just takes care of most of your electrical needs and then there's the electrical tape for after i don't have liquid electrical tape here i really should uh but that stuff kind of goes bad after a year um but i do like it all right Ah, uh, picks, punch, drifts, uh, files, I should put, doesn't say files there, mm -hmm. uh, scraper, um, uh, a little chisel, a cold chisel or two is always a handy thing, just to, and, and a big drift, I really should have like a half inch drift to, you know, I don't know, there are times where you have to pound out a, an axle stub from a hub or, or whatnot, um, but yeah, fairly often used. Uh, here you get your drilling, your measuring. So um, this is fantastic. Open this. Sorry for the dizzying tumble there. I'm just going to put this down for a second. Okay. 20 bucks, 22 bucks, whatever, uh, at Amazon. Made by Clockwise. There's a few other brands. Um, it is a slide caliper that can read in, uh, in fractions of an inch. So again, I, most of my stuff's in metric and that's fine. It's got millimeters and it'll do inches to the, oh, that does do that to the half thou. Huh, really? All right, this must be newer than my other one. Um, but I, I've checked my other one against the Mitsutoyo. Um, and so I use this for 99.9% .9 of my uh, my caliper work because it's I'm not worried about it, and it's been repeatable and and accurate, right? So precise and accurate, um, impressively. So uh, taper reamers, um, measuring tapes, um, thread pitch guides. This is a uh, either taps or left hand uh, drill bit. Looks like a left-hand drill bit, uh, set, but I can't quite tell. Um, all right, Unibits. Oh, these are fantastic. And I have these in metric, but I don't think here. So essentially just a step drill that does have a point that you can uh, start a pilot with typically, especially on the smaller sizes. Um, and there's just step there. Even They even tell you what they are, right? So there's just steps where you go in, 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 and ream. You can also clean up the edge of a hole just by lightly going up to the step. Uh, so that's these are fantastic spark plug uh, gap um, uh, stethoscope also another great one the lyle l-i-s-l-e uh, stethoscope has a hollow hose for getting air leaks and stuff like that vacuum leaks and then there's a mechanical kind of in here is a an actual metal like a drum uh, that acts like a drum head or or a speaker uh, cone or something like that that really amplifies the sounds so for pinpointing um issues uh, mechanical issues and i guess leak specific issues um yeah are these oh, these look like right twists i like left hand drill bits uh but these look like right twists and extractors i mean 10 percent success rate but sometimes it's all you got to go on and these are also as brittle so that's a whole other thing uh one air gauge one air gauge only got it one air gauge and random yeah, inside outside pullers, so you could pull gears and stuff with this, uh, like three jaws, uh, charger, filter wrench, a few sets of, uh, yeah, there's a cheap, oh, it's a Pittsburgh tap and die set, that must have been free. Um, I don't know that I would trust my tapping and dying to Pittsburgh, but fine. Um, and I do have specific to Subaru, like I've got a, a, a die for the, um, for the wheel, uh, the wheel, the wheel um, bolts. Um, all right, so, you know, this really isn't, in here isn't kind of shop gear so much as tools. Uh, it's a decent set of tools that could probably use a little bolstering in the kind of power tool section. I'd love to just have all, you know, Milwaukee M12 and M18. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty well set up for, uh, for solving most of the problems you're going to encounter. 
Um, I would probably also get some sort of slide hammer set, a uh, wheel bearing set, and those are things that I have in the garage too, so I can always load those up uh, if we know we're doing like a full-on rally or, or, or something more intense than just a, a day or a weekend. Um, all right, well, hopefully this was helpful. Um, see you guys later.